Alright, welcome back to the Shady Harbor. Given whatever that is. Oh yeah, we will meet again. Under the rain, fly to the moon and back. back again. Right, I got. I went a little bit further in my own time, and uh, we've now got like a quite a nice. A nice looking ship here so far. It's gotten bigger. At the moment I'm just yeah harvesting the shit out of this stuff. We've got more people now. We're doing good. I'm starting to build out here as well for my secondary uh, shuttle. Storage is full already. Amazing. I just built a, like a scanner thing, but it needs to be on the power grid, so... Or on a power grid of some description. Um. A small power node would probably cover it for now. I need there to be another one of these up here somewhere. They're about as far away as I could possibly make them from each other. That's interesting. Oh, it's still building. That's why. Well, I don't need to worry about that just yet. I do need to build more hull. Shield generator. I can build a shield. Ah. That was yes. Oh, and that's built now. It's 
to build that shield. Hey! Um, so, like, full disclosure, I pre-watched, but I thought I'd do it as well, but since, like, it only, it only dropped, like, I, I think two hours ago. Um, eh, it, it looks like a kid's movie. Um, in a nutshell, that's my response. But, um, yeah, I look forward to watching it with you. Y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, these can't be here then. Let's build that shields console. Aha! That can build a small shield gen. Ooh, a small one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not what I was expect not the not what I was expecting it to look like, but mm, okay. Okay, pet that dog. You pet that dog. Here we go. I finally have a shield. That's pretty sick. Coming sheep. You want to trade with me?
Hey, integrity lost. Noise. We're finally getting to it. It's max heaven! Now I have actual shields, that's pretty sick. Ooh, more Merchant Federation ships. That's pretty sick. I love the music of this game. New ship in sector. New ship for trade, man. Like. important to do the sailing, but unfortunately my thing's in front of the screen so it's probably hard for you to see what I'm doing. Apologies for that. Alright, where's the other new one? That one just came in? Alright, more trading. Uh, more raw materials? No. Interesting. Trading is really important in this game. The space colony is good. People aren't, like, Corey isn't, like, going through, uh, traumatic breaks anymore. Which is good. I, I, don't, I don't want him to be having nervous breakdowns all the time. Look, my space, col space, space colonists, my space, space marines, um, to be happy. But um, I'm realizing that trade is a really good thing in this game. It's important um, to buy up all of the Hyperium and the um, uh, the Energium because when you refine that, like you can sell Hyperfuel. You get two Hyperfuel from one of one bit of Hyperium, and you can usually sell it for like twice as much. So the returns on that is pretty good. You can basically hyperfuel is like a second currency in this game almost. Um, but I usually try and sell things that are over a hundred as well, just to reduce the amount of uh, cargo space that I'm devoting to it. Wait, thirteen 
five, yeah. Except more another trade. Can never get rid of the enough of my soft blocks though. Now I've got a shit ton of more trades to do. Hey, how's it going? Found this BPF magic scepter theory. Okay. What's that? Everyone's too scared to post the Vorsch debate a year ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is more more mouthy infidel as well. Yeah, that'd be cool. Critical resources low, energy rods. Oh, This seems to be very good at the panel. works. Time to launder. And uh, no, not money. Teehee. Aww. Hey, uh, you can always uh, put that money into a subscription. <gasps> oh yeah. Subs. If you want to. I think when, yeah, I'm still waiting for this thing to finish being, like, deconstructed. I'm just, like, de getting heaps of freaking loot from this place. It's awesome. Oh, some some bits. Oh, bits, bits. I, I also need to figure out a way for those bits to be worthwhile. Just got that thing to dismantle and then it's done. 
You gonna dismount it? Yes. The Ace of Spades! <clears throat> can never have too many solar panels in this game. If, if, if you're utilizing basic power with the power generator, then man, it is a good, it is a very good song. I do like that song. That is a nice song. Ah, so the shield generator is the better one. I just need the blocks to be put away now. Alright. I'll start having a look at uh, the bits and pieces as well very shortly. I am feeling snackish though, so I need to find some way to uh, do that. There we go. Now they're collecting the last parts. Ah, come on, collect the last infra block so then I can start chomping this thing up. Hey, just Sophie. How are ya? Hey, how was that? Was it badass? I bet it was badass. Oh yeah. Working on the shield generator now. Didn't move hurt, but feeling it'll try and get through your skin was a bit uncomfy, comfy, but it, um, as soon as it slid in, it was easy game. Oh, yeah! That's pretty cool.
that the injection has time to build up in your system. What I need to figure out now is how I want these to be organized. And I'm thinking I want all of these bedrooms to be moved up by one. <sighs> yeah. Starting with this one. Music is so damn peaceful. Love it. Ooh. I'm probably going to move this. Um... Ooh, nice. So, what does a shield generator do? Shield generator, small shield. Oh, it's a bit. It's just bigger. It's just bigger. All right. Well, let's dismantle you and put a bigger one up. Grappled tongue egg with a tongue piercing is heaven, it's so easy to eat, yeah. Do this.
build that wall. Here we go. Yay, and this thing is all gone. Alright, now we can fly to the next space storm. Woo! Um, send everyone out. By the way, Riley, you're about the, you're you're in this group as well. You've got a machine gun. Got a new person, by the way. Hey! Someone named Tom. Well, you're not gonna be Tom for long. Part of the Slavers Guild. Who's it gonna be? Monkey G. That's who it's gonna be. Because it's from the moon! 
is from the moon. There we go. Monkey G. And he's by Monkey G. Monkey G, tell me about yourself, Monkey G. What is Monkey G good at? Monkey G is uh, uh, a fairly decent navigator, an excellent gunner, um, not so much shield or operations, nothing to do with medical, not a botanist. Oh, you're good at construction, maintenance, and mining. Fuck yeah. Industry is okay. And, uh, yeah. Monkey G. Let's get Monkey G schedule on track. We have 11. 11 crew members now. Fabian is apparently going to be talking with several trans-related guests tonight on a panel including Blair Wyatt. Oh, for fuck's sake. What's the panel called? This is a big, big ship. The gender Q. The gender question. Oh, for fuck's sake. So who are the guests? Blair Wyatt. You mentioned Blair Wyatt. Buck Angel, holy fuck! So we got we got uh, true scum, true scum, transphobes. Um, I don't know who the fuck uh, shapeshifter or Taft J, but like Blair and Buck Angel are two trans, um, uh, trans uh, true scum fucks. Yeah. I mean Blair White is a piece of shit for being a piece of shit, but Buck Angel is just like. G shifted madly in the way of transphobia, Tafta J. I'm 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 not too familiar with them. All right, ship has been explored. Undraft, undraft, and salvage everything. All of the things. I should probably build a shield generator, though. Chloe Cole. Shapeshifter. Mm -hmm. Hello, Merchant Federation. Fancy some trade? If you've got anything decent to trade, well, I'm always up for some of that shit. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What am I going to trade you in return?
I didn't think that anyone can get to this job. Just looking at that. Oh, I, I did. Good. I want I, I don't want that hull there. Oh good, the hull's gone. Right. Building windows sweet. Wonderful. So I've got eight, but I need um, another three. Um, Hyper sleep chambers, so. Oh, the fucking things. Police. Yeah, so I'll be only be able to like fit six of these on here. So I guess this one's gonna go here. And if that one goes there, hold on. Uh, there. Oh there are routes. Cool. That'll be fine.
Hey, SGR 7th. This game is annoying for one reason, one reason alone. It's very hard to drag myself away from it because, like, shit is, like, so addictive. It's very much the whole one more turn sort of mindset. <clears throat> what is this hazardous oxygen is fine temperature though oh temperature ah yeah that would probably do it Asshole. Based grandma. Ooh. the video and then he closed down his account. Some very spooky shit. What an asshole. Oh, I got shit tons of hyper fuel now. Yeah. I'm buying all the shit up now. Fuck yeah.
gonna make all the trades. Yeah. Fucking hell, what an asshole though, right? Running off with the whole shit? It's just not cricket. There we go, six of those. Wait, what? I thought I accepted that deal before. We're going to be rich. That's what this is. Italian. Bang Ding Owl. Ace, the Ace, this, this ship is called the ACS Bang Ding Owl. Is that a racist joke? Seems pretty racist. Not gonna lie. And then the third one. Uh, 
This is how you become rich in this game. It's just by trading shit. Cash. Alright. Poor bastards. Much better shield. Trading is definitely how you win this game.
We've got two trades to do with him, him, and him. Yep. Cool. So it's not doing like one at a time. It's a bit annoying, but. Yeah, so I'm curious as well. Okay, well... Once these trades are done, I'll try- I'll suck out as much money as I can get back from them. Because that'll get- that, that's gonna keep me going for ages for energy rods and uh, hyperfuel. The only thing I don't have a lot of is water, so I might actually trade some water across. Alright, let me get that money back that you fucking got from me. Yes, get all my money back. Same from you, asshole. Oh, wait. I've already got all my money back. Well, I still want his water, so. I don't usually like trade over refined ingredients, but like I'm I don't like having less than fifty water and zero ice is not nice. <laughs> zero ice is not nice. So twenty one hundred and fifty seven. Is one meat gonna be less than that? No. Fuck. Forty two. Alright, I bought a beer. Going back to Bang Ding Ao because I think, yeah, I did. I did forget to get all of them. Except. Yeah. There we go. React when? Very soon. I'm sorry. Very soon. I just want this damn trade to finish. Come on. Come on, finish that trade. Not the trade I was looking for. 
Actually, I should be able to just do this trade now, actually. Yeah, let's get that water. I'm gonna get the water. Because I need it. He wants it, we needs it, we must have the water. Perfect. Alright. So, I'm going to go on a quick break to use the ladies' room, um, pop something on to cook for some snack, and uh, then we'll uh, do some react. So, don't go anywhere. Or do. Either way, though, I will be back after these short announcements. <laughs> And I'm back. Yeah. 
Looks like it's going to be pie for food. Oh my gosh, there's so many in, there's so many fucking ships in the system now. I sell cabinets. Who? Me? What? Who? What? Wait. What? Who are we talking about here? Who are we talking about? Oh, I'm a cabinet maker. Like that's like that's my qualification. I've got a certificate three in whatever blah 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 thing. But like I'm a qualified cabinet maker. I'm qualified to make cabinets, but uh, no, I don't sell them. I I don't make and sell them. I'm not uh, that organized. <laughs> I can I could work for a company. I could not. Uh, I would not be able. To, I'm not able to do that by myself. If someone was there to do everything. Um, everything um and all i had to do was do the actual building of the cabinet then that would be fine but other than that like yeah no ability to run a company in, in this one here <laughs> promised reacts oop jump jump scare lucy Oh yeah, these are the ones. I I was gonna have a look at these as well, but uh, I don't, if they are, looking at, and um, at the top you see, it actually has uncensored right there. Like, what the fuck is that? Do I want to know? Oh, I might have to watch that in my own time. That didn't flag, it's still on your channel. I don't know, Twitch is different though. I don't know. I'll look through them, just in case. Really? So you can't be gay and a tor- Wait, LGBT plus conservatives. Oh, cringe. Also, oxymoron. Holding a pin that says oxymoron. Like... I don't know, like, I don't know if that, that pin means oxymoron, or it's, like, just shortened from oxygen-stealing morons. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Last night's LGBT party at conservative conference descended into claims of homophobic abuse. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Attendees had to be removed for having, using highly offensive homophobic slurs. One gay conservative attending told me, morally, I don't feel I fit in anymore. Really? 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 Who would have fucking thought, huh? Alright. The conservative... What was it, the donkeys? Like, what was it? What is the, um... Th there's a particular group of uh, conservatives in America... Um, who were, like, trying to push for, like, LGBT inclusion in conservative fields, but, like, they basically turned around and said, yeah, we failed. It's impossible. Like, we're, we're never going to get accepted. They, they, you keep on trying this, and you just keep on realizing that the only people that are going to accept you are, like, people who actually care about you as a human being. Who would have thought, huh? But yes... This one here. This is three minutes. This one's three minutes. All right. So, so I was gonna have a look at this one. Um, Lu Luna Oi is someone who has been like dogpiled a bunch uh, by mostly white uh, streamers in America. Um, it's really interesting uh, that they hate on her so much, especially like I think I, I don't know. More recently, I, th I well, not more recently, this is like 
fucking months ago. Um, Vorsch uh, attacked. Vorsch basically sent his uh, his minions to attack um, Luna Oi after um, releasing a video um, talking about how they were translating some school books into English. And uh, he reacted to one of her videos um, with and titled it uh, Brain Damage Inducing. Which, you know, is not the way I'd speak about someone who's trying to just, you know, translate shit to English and that... And like an like having an understanding a different understand and understanding and perspective of Marxism from, you know, the very a very like a very American perspective. Uh, the goofball on screen, um, Lucy or Little Fox, but if you're talking about uh, Luna Oi, that's Luna Oi, um, on the screen. Luna Oi is the person who I would generally defend. I haven't actually heard anything from Luna Oi which hasn't been made sense. So I like, and I and I have to admit I don't know nearly enough about um, Vietnam and uh, Vietnamese um, uh, form of uh, the socialist experiment, but uh, yeah. I am interested to hear what Keffels has to say about the subject because she is uh, Borsch adjacent. Let's see if she falls into that hole of uh, Western chauvinism. This is what I mean. Like, you can say the good things about a Marxist Leninist country, but you don't need to lie. It actively makes you look worse if you lie because you want to paint a country you like in this super idealistic way where you're always looking at it through rose-tinted glasses. The reality of all of these places... Already, already. Like, this is a small niggle for me. This is a smaller, like, problem that I have with um, Americans and people from the West criticising other people's cultures and all that sort of stuff. It has to do with this, um, like, they are absolutely right that you tend to look at things from a rose-tinted glasses perspective, but here's the thing. I was thinking about this morning. I was, uh, you know how... Um, that movie came out recently. Um, Queen, uh, what is it? Um, Woman, Woman King, I think. Woman King is the movie. Woman King. Yeah. So Woman King, the Woman King has uh, come to have some criticism from uh, mostly people on the right. Um, who are claiming that is trying to, uh, what's the word? A downplay, like, slavery and stuff like that. Now, everyone I've seen, everyone I've seen who has criticised that movie, right, has been a particular demographic. Um... And that de demographic generally consists of people who look like me criticizing the movie The Woman King. Now, it's getting so much criticism because it's black people, honestly. There are so many action movies out there based on white people who did awful, horrific things. What was the most uh, popular musical a couple of years back? For instance, like, you've got Hamilton, which basically does a lot of whitewashing when it comes to the people, like, that they're trying to portray. We need to... It's not about, like... 
not criticizing media uh, for trying to whitewash um, problematic problematic stuff from the past. It's about considering whether the same criticisms would be whether whether you you as a white person are criticizing um, minorities uh, with a much harsher view. Now, this is not like me saying Peffles is racist, blah blah blah. This is saying this is me talking about the fact that everyone white is racist. We are brought up in a society which teaches us where where we get messaging from the media constantly about how violent and how um lesser uh, minorities are like we have constant a constant barrage of like people telling us but yeah now the criticism against woman king ha has to do with like the um now i haven't watched it um or really looked into too much of the criticism but as i understand it um, it has to do with a uh, particular uh, group of people in Africa who uh, was involved in the slave trade. Uh, the I don't know. I think it's the North Atlantic the North Atlantic slave trade. And I don't know how. I don't know the history of that. Um, I think it's yikesy as fuck myself. But he is the thing. It's not my fucking place to criticize uh, a movie um, written by, directed by, starring minorities that I'm not a part of uh, for doing exactly the same shit that people who look like me do constantly in media. It's just not my place. Um, that, that's, that's where I come from when looking at these issues. So I just, there is always going to be a bias there and you can see it when you look at people like Vosh and I'm hoping, and, and I'm, I'm expecting that from, uh, Kefels because this is not something that we really pay attention to in and of ourselves. We're not taught about this. This is something we learn on our own, hopefully. Um, and hopefully, you know, the earlier you learn this, the better off you'll be at uh, being a productive member of society, in that we have inherent biases towards, um, sorry, unconscious biases towards um, minority groups that we don't even realize we have. And you have to actively explore and try to compare things before just reacting out loud to it. So I feel like this is might be. It's really cringe hearing white people talk about other cultures seeing their culture through rose tinted glasses when uh, y'all saw the people lose their fucking minds over the queen dying in England. So it's not really any different, honestly. In my personal opinion, um, you, you, to to really have a bias towards the place that you live, you know, it's a normal thing. But yeah, unfortunately, it can alter our thing. Places is that they're incredibly messy. I don't know SGR seventh, but I didn't vote for him. So, I don't know like a lot of the backstory, I just know who Luna is. Luna is a Marxist Leninist YouTuber who lives in Hanoi, Vietnam. And basically her entire internet presence is dedicated to schooling liberals and trying to shame them into being Marxist Leninists online. That's basically what she does. And there, there was a, like a lot of drama Interesting over the past framing. year, over a lot of shit. And I basically avoided it. Um, I, you know, you know me, I used to be part of the communist party. I was at one point of time, a party member, a Marxist Leninist. I ran for parliament as a Marxist Leninist, but that's not something that I really believe anymore. And one of the things that I really don't like specifically 
is with every ML country, I can name a handful of very cool and good things that they have done. However, generally the people who are the most ardent defenders of these countries will downplay or straight up lie about all of the bad things. They never present it in a balanced way. And that's what I have a big problem with. Like I've been to Cuba multiple times. So like the same as everyone else. So, so like that. So so so. Long story short, Marxist Leninists Leninist just do like exactly the same as what uh, everyone does, and it's obviously a problem. It needs to be like looked at, and um, and you know you need to be observant of these things in yourself. But like it's nothing special. Right. Times I think Cuba is a great country. For instance, I love that they have constitutional reforms that happen. I like that their police force is not very militarized. I like that um, social housing and socialized education and healthcare are very big things that the Cuban government cares about. But there are bad things that Cuba has done, not the worst, but this applies to like every ML country. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because it kind of ties into what happened with Luna Oi and how it kind of, it exemplifies the problems that I have with Marxist Leninists and why I ultimately decided to leave the party and to stop being a Marxist Leninist. Luna Oi makes Vietnam the template for us all to strive for. Is this a ship post? Like, that's a ship post. There's gotta be a ship post. That's, oh, that's her stance. Yeah, and that's, that doesn't make any sense. Like one thing that is particularly frustrating to me with Luna is that she uses the rhetoric of American progressives in order to attack America, like in order to attack people for not believing what she believes. She especially um, talks a lot about being a person of color. And in the context of Canada, the United States, that's absolutely true. In the context of Vietnam, that is not true whatsoever. And there are a lot more racialized people who depends um depends on like how long you spent in the country how if you've moved out of the country like what cultural things like if, i don't know about vietnam but in in japan like things are not black and white when it comes to what you are considered to be like if you do not it's it's not about how you look it's also how about how you act uh, when it comes to, like, Japan, at least, um, if you do not act like a cultural Japanese person, you will be uh, you'll be insulted in the most insulting way um, that I've heard so far, um, is to be asked if you are even Japanese. And I've had, I, I've had friends who um, are J- Japanese expats, they go back. And, um, like, for things as simple as asking for pickles, not uh, asking for a, um, at a McDonald's in Japan, whether she can have a burger without the pickles in them, um, they asked her if she was Japanese. So, like, I know that it's not what Kevl is going at, but, like, I would be... Without without her bring, pulling up um, anything that um, Luna Oi has actually said or done... Um, I don't really have the context for this, so I'm trying to find it um, in this. You know, obviously Kevils can be just talking about um, skin colour and appearance and language as well. But again, if you spend, um, you know, 10 years in another country and you get an accent, in countries like Japan at least, I, I again, I don't know if the same can be said for Vietnam, but you are treated differently if you have a different uh, accent. Um, yeah. So, again, like, that perspective needs to be taken into account when we're talking about these things. And this is kind of what I'm talking about when it comes to looking at other countries and forgetting about your own perspective on what things are culturally, because race culturally works different in different countries and the way people are treated um, and the way people are identified by race is different from country to country. So I, um, um, unless I, without having what Luna's said or done in front of me, I would, yeah, be very cautious to make judgments on <laughs> someone uh, in another country. Uh, also, her um, husband, 
um, I believe, uh, American Johnson is an American or Canadian, or, I don't know, North American um, expat. Um, so she, they, they'd obviously have an experience of uh, racial, of being like a racial minority in that country as well, and to be able to talk about that. So I'm just confused as to where this is coming from and what we're actually looking at. Have a far harder time in day-to-day -day life in Vietnam, especially indigenous people in Vietnam. But this is that's just kind of an aside. The thing that I have an issue with... I'm pretty sure that Luna always um, mentioned the indigenous people, but uh, you know, correct me on that one if I'm wrong. ...was this, and I thought it was very funny. So... Someone said, Vietnam is literally becoming more capitalist every day. And she said... Prosperity does not equal capitalism. We are a socialist-oriented market economy. 70% of people are farmers. Land is free to farmers. Capitalists can't own land, and minority work for wages. If you don't believe in our socialism, we don't care. We want our revolution so we can build our way. But then someone found her Facebook, where she's selling a big plot of land, and the description for the plot of land that she is selling suitable for investment, garden houses, camping area, or homestay. So for only 400 million dong, you can own this beautiful plot of land, very good investment for your business. Stop making fun of the currency. Yes, it's called dong, okay? Is that her real name there? If this is a Facebook post, with her real name. This is doxing. Am I wrong? Was this public information? All right. <sighs> Oh yeah, I remember the. Oh, I remember her grand grandfather, um, uh, owning the uh, entire village, and then the communist seized it in the fifties. Yeah, remember that. Um, yep. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Yep. Okay. <coughs> Uh, and the housing information you give them. The second is that New Guinea is an extremely common name, not in Vietnam. I, 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 I yeah. Um, I, I would err on the side of caution. If this is something that like she hasn't, like Facebook is not Twitter. Um, yeah, Facebook is a much more pi like personal fucking thing. And. Um, Okay, so it's farming rights. Okay. So...
basically, uh, well, I mean, this is in Luna Oi's um, mind, in Luna Oi's um, words, basically. Um, um, Okay, so yeah. Um, that didn't take me very long to find the context. Uh, please, 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 please. Can you show me the context of this? That's not funny. A dong is just a Vietnamese dollar. Stop it. I fucking hate you, chat. You're terrible sometimes. Okay, yeah, j just get your. Also, um... The you can be a landowner with a view of the, the Vang uh, River is, uh, Sen, Sen Nguyen's, um... What, what, Nguyen? Um... Words... I, I don't know, um... Vietnamese, so I can't translate that, but, like, yeah. So basically, in Vietnam, you do not own land. You own the you can own the rights to use the land, or at least own the lease rights. So you basically, you could sell that lease to someone else. At the end of the day, the profits um, from the land ownership is socially social profits. It does. It's not the same system, and this is this is this is one of the things. One of the one of the problems with criticizing other countries with different different systems is that land even something as simple as land ownership works differently. So you can make assumptions based on you know Facebook posts and what people have uh, posted about it. Um, yeah. Does anyone have any any response to uh, Luna's? Um So, yeah, these sort of things and misunderstandings happen when you don't like a person and you don't want to um, do a little bit of extra re research. Now, I know that it's not entertaining for you all to watch me spend, like, ten minutes scrolling through text to try and find contextual data. I, I, I mean, that can't be... That can't be interesting to you. Um, so I understand why, you know, a large streamer, popular streamer, wouldn't spend that time, because people get bored. Um, so I guess this is me saying don't get all of, don't, um, inform yourself on the opinions of your favorite streamer, <laughs> especially not me. Don't get your opinions from me, get your opinions from, um, researching and looking at reputable sources and seeing, like, from a different perspective, because, like, things are never 100%. So I'm going to... Um... not following her. Hmm. 
I'm gonna uh, close. Yeah, of course you can uh, ask me about RM. So that's the that's the Twitter post there. If you want to um, learn a little bit more about what she does and like how things work. Um, okay. System. Laugh about it now, so I can move on. I mean, of the currency. Yes, it's called dong. Okay, that's not funny. A dong is just a Vietnamese dollar. Stop it. I fucking hate you, chat. You're terrible sometimes. Okay, yeah, j just get out of your system. Laugh about it now, so I can move on. All right, all right, just just keep laughing. We'll we'll get through it and we'll move on. And <laughs> but this is this is what I mean. This is. I'm not going to criticize her for that. Like it's a funny. It, it's funny because it's a difference in language. Um. Yeah, I I just not in the mood to laugh at that right now. My issue. This is ultimately. One of the biggest issues that I have it's, with Mark- It's funny, but inappropriate, obviously. Marxism, Leninism. It's like, was the Vietnamese revolution a good thing? Objectively, it was a great thing for Vietnam. They took control of their country from a colonial- Menemone, like, the news doesn't tell you nothing true. Um, the news either tells you- The news tells you the spin that the um, author wants to put on- the news. Um, if you're looking for good news sources, then find news sources which link to like um, primary sources and primary and experts and secondary secondary sources which are experts um, analyzing the primary sources. Now, like the, the, usually, generally speaking, Al Jazeera is fairly good at this in my experience, but like uh, it's hit and miss with the Guardian. But like even Fox News is going to tell you what um, the imperialist West wants you to think about something. And so then that gives you an idea of what sort of things to research around that. They tell me it's sunny when it's raining. They tell me military veterans get college credit and they tell me that I own property. And none of that is true. Very true. But it's true that they want you to believe that. Never forget that. And there's always nuggets of truth hidden in everything. You just need to, like, figure out how to sift through that. Occupying force. And they were able to have national self-determination and build up infrastructure and support their people. That's, that's great. That's 10 out of 10. Very cool thing to do. But my problem is when you obfuscate for ideological reasons all of the bad things. It's possible like? to have solidarity with a country without necessarily 100% like? supporting them. Too often, Marxist-Leninists use the term critical support, but when they say critical support, usually they mean ultra super mega support, do not criticize this country. And that's incredibly silly. Like a personal story of mine. So when I was in the party and the Communist Party of Canada does a lot of solidarity work with Cuba. Um, a lot of people go there, do volunteer labor and stuff, and uh, work on committees trying to end the blockade. I, I remember a conversation between this really young guy, and he was approaching Miguel Figueroa, who was um, basically instrumental in keeping the party alive after the fall of the Soviet Union. And the kid, he asked him about smoking in Cuba. And he said that Cuba has incredibly strict anti-smoking laws and you can't smoke in public because when Fidel Castro got cancer, they decided to take it more seriously. And when I heard that, I literally said, why are you lying? Like, I said that to his face. Like, why are you lying to this kid? Like, right in front of the kid. Because when I was in Cuba, my ex got alcohol poisoning. And when I was in the hospital visiting them, there was a fucking nurse smoking a cigarette by the hospital window. Okay? They, that's just not true.
Cuba banned smoking in enclosed. Oh, here we go. Fucking uh, Associated Press. Cuba banned smoking in enclosed public spots in February 7. Uh, as, as island wide ban on smoking in public places such as stores, theatres, and office buildings, but some Cubans don't seem to know or care and can continue to uh, light up. Uh, won't give you a name. So, um, yeah. Uh, that's. That's. This is what I'm fucking talking about, right? I could say exactly the same thing about Australia, which has similar laws in place. Um, smoking is banned in public, public spaces. Um, and the same in Japan. Um, people don't care about the law when it comes to that shit. They just do it anyway. The fuck are you going to do? Are you going to fucking, like, get someone fired for having a cigarette? Are you going to, like, call the cops? Uh, I don't know. He didn't lie. He, he didn't lie. It just seems just like that. that's not a lie. That's just, like, yeah. Fucking hell. I don't know, like, that seems kind of dumb. You don't have to lie about... So her her argument about the negative thing, the, she, her reasons for leaving, uh, not being an ML anymore is because um, someone uh, was, like, exaggerating uh, when it comes to smoking laws in Cuba, which is similar to how they are in Austra here in Australia, where they're banned in public spaces. Um, people just do it anyway, like... Like, smoking is banned um, at hospitals, but people smoke outside the window anyway. <sighs> but even then, that doesn't seem like a big fucking deal to me. And and her, her source is her own personal experience? Like, come on, love. That's... That's not a source, that's your own personal experience. But, and, and, and it's an uncharitable um, take in that as well. Because she could easily just have said, oh yeah, there's laws there, but people don't respect them. Like, that's, she could have easily just said that. <sighs> Is it? I don't know. Maybe. Please. And this is this is what I mean. Like you can say the good things about a Marxist line because he wasn't lying about them having the laws put in place. In fact, he's probably not even lying about the reasoning behind it. In this country, but you don't need to lie. It actively. He doesn't. He didn't. And neither did Luna Oi. Luna, Luna Oi doesn't. How has Luna Oid lied? Okay, it makes you look worse if you that lie. It? That's it. Because that's you it. want that's to it. paint that's a country okay. you like in this right. super idealistic this way. This is fucking you're nothing. Always what the looking fuck? at it through rose tinted glasses. This is a nothing burger. The reality Come on. of all of these places is that they're incredibly messy. Yeah, it makes it look like you're covering things up, and it's like I support Cuba. I absolutely support Cuba. Will I talk about the Cuban Family Code? I really wish I got into it. Um, it's obviously like really fucking based what they did. And it made me so sad when a couple years ago, Cuba decided to drop same sex marriage, but they ended up turning it around. And also that they have, um, non-commercial surrogacy, which is awesome. Basically, um, you can be a surrogate, but you can't do so for commercial reasons, which creates an entire surrogacy industry as a nation, not a tea party. Absolutely. So I was like a little worried about covering. Kevl's a, a trans streamer, um, political streamer. Um, she recently helped to take down Kiwi Farms, um, at least temporarily. They'll be back probably, but they'll never be at the same strength. It's sort of like Alex Jones, really. Um, 
Yeah, so she she she's actually contributed to some really fucking good shit. So this is just this is basic basically what we're looking at now is uh, uh twi- Twitch drama. Wait, this is this is a Twitch drama stream. Uh no. No, Keffel Keffel's Keffel's is um American. Or Canadian? American anyway. You are all Americans. You're in America. Fuck fuck you. But yeah, she's 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 from Canada, I think. Um, and yeah, um, conservatives hate her right now. And, and and she's fucking she's a hilarious troll on Twitter as well. She like um she she does, she it's the fucking most annoying shit, right? You know like where you know people who say ra- L plus ratio, like oh ha 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 I've ratioed you like. Crank that uh, the irony of that around um, 360 degrees, and then you've got Keffels, who basically goes to conservatives, says, I have always wanted to ratio this conservative, and then, like, her followers and fans and basically everyone else, like, helps her ratio them. And uh, the conservatives get so fucking angry, and then they cope by saying that it's, like, childish and dumb and stuff. But that's the point. The point is that it's ironic... Um, but yeah, I, I don't have a personal problem with Keffels, but like, this is just, to me, just dumbass drama and, uh, does not have anything to do with Luna Oi. I, I'm just disappointed that once again, like, she, she's effectively just used the, used Luna Oi's name, which is like, co- just, it's just controversy bait. Um, Who's a minor? Who is like a fucking minority online? Whether we're talking about um, in her own country or in you know the general uh, dialogue, she you know makes videos in English for English people, uh, talks in English, and like yeah, I would like to hear actual lies. The two things that she's posted, she's posted, she's posted uh, one thing which. Um, was in an, in itself a lie, uh, and didn't um, spend any time exploring that. Um, and then she's posted, the, and the second thing wasn't even a lie. It's just like because people don't respect laws. <sighs> I just yeah, I just find it disappointing more than anything else. I'm disappointed. I'm not angry. I'm disappointed this specifically because i don't like slap fight drama very much but i also thought it was important to point out and especially because i get questioned a lot about my political views since leaving the communist party and there's a lot of things i still adamantly support I support social housing. I support socialized healthcare and education. I believe that everyone should have the right to a job. I want there to be better wages and stronger union protections. And ultimately, I would love to see more democratic control over the workplace. But there are a lot of things I absolutely do not support. And it was basically irreconcilable. Are tankies not MLers? It's, uh, It's like, I don't know how to answer that question because... I feel like if you ask like 10 different people what tanky means, you're going to- Tanky is just a word used to- <laughs> Magical- Wait, what? When she starts telling you what you think, what you experience, and how you feel about that, which she's an expert on because she has magical omniscient genitals, I'll be over here doing what I do every time that happens, pretending you're a different species. What are you talking about? Some random tag says she was the internet's biggest cry bully. Um, do you remember an do you, Do you remember an Anita Sarkeesian? You remember the lies that like were told about Anita Sarkeesian? Well, they're saying exactly the same things about her uh, right now. They are basically saying literally the same shit. What? F- Wait. What? Anita Sarkeesian is based as fuck. What are you talking about? You... She didn't cry about anything. Wait. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, like, uh, no, 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 this is... I'm not upset, I'm just interested. Like, you know that everything that uh, you know about her is a fucking lie made up by, like, internet trolls, right? 
Yeah, yeah. Wait. No, I know. I you, you, We're talking about the same person. Yeah, she's fucking awesome. Her video series was amazing and really, really inspirational for me, like, when I was doing game design at university. I loved it. I loved that series. It's really challenging and made, forced me to have a different perspective about how game design should work. Like, she's awesome. <laughs> Everything bad you've heard about her is, is a lie. Like, and, and, like, I know that's a very blanket statement, but, like, it's true. Th there's, she's just a normal person, like everyone else, probably has negative... Didn't she have some... No? No, she didn't. No, she was just criticizing um, game media, um, which is a really cool thing to do. I love, I love the criticism of game media. Like she's based as fuck. I mean, like this is just my opinion, but like um, when it comes to like the stuff that the negative stuff out there, like everything that um, the cons that uh, anti SJW crowd said was, they're they're all lying. Like they they basically lied they lied about her um, starting a like stealing money from her fans from a Kickstarter and they're saying exactly the same thing about Keffels. It's 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 kind of like f sad funny that they keep doing that that like exactly what they did to paint Anita Sarkeesian in a negative light they're currently doing to Keffels. So you wouldn't, you won't be, I wouldn't be surprised if you start hearing the same shit that, um, you know, that, that, um, about Keffels that you hear about, um, uh, Anita Sarkeesian. But yeah, uh, if you want to like really go into what happened with Anita Sarkeesian, there's a fantastic series from, um, Innuendo Studios, uh, did a great one, um, but yeah, the, watch her videos. Like, her videos are really insightful. Like, there's stuff that I disagree with, there's stuff I agree with, but, like, she's really sweet. So high school clique consolidating political power under false pretenses on the internet. It goes through phases, Menemone. It goes through phases. You have different groups that, like, rise up and bubble up, and then there's another one. Like, currently we've got a new group bubbling up um, made up of uh, Nick is Not Green, Mr. Beard, um, Curtis Connor, who's pretty much been around forever anyway, but, like, that sort of sphere is bubbling up on the left, which is really interesting. Um, I think the, the old the old um, sphere that was bubbling up was um, a H. Bomber guy... Um, Philosophy Tube, like, it's really interesting watching, like, the ebb and flow of, like, internet content creation. Honestly, I find it really interesting and, and fascinating. Um, but, like, I I'm not going to show you, like, one particular video, uh, because the entire channel um, has just amazing... Oh, the only one pretending it's new is pe are people are uh, basically people who haven't grown up understanding parasocial relationships. So, like, it's the fans basically that um, blow things out of proportion for it, um, and that's not their fault. They're not. We're not taught. We we should be teaching kids from a young age, from like maybe even from kindergarten, like the basics of um, what parasocial relationships are um, to help um, kids understand their relationships online with other people and um, understand the difference between parasocial relationships and the relationships you have in real life. Because the way people talk about their favorite streamers is if they're talking about like people, like real people, but like this person here and, and this person here, I know I, I sound like a broken record because I say this all the time, I'm not a real person. I, I'm literally not a real person to you. I'm not real. I'm a voice on the internet. I am a woman on your screen talking to you about her opinions. Yes, there is a real person there saying these things, but she has a life outside of this. She goes to work. She has relationships with real life people that you'll never know about. And the problem is a lot of people don't understand that me taught this person here, like this entity, uh, Little Fox, talking about Keffels is not two people having a conversation. And that's 
not understood by people, especially teenagers and children, because they're not taught to separate those differences. And you can apply this not just to online stuff, but also to, like, also to, um, like, kids getting involved with gambling scams and, um, you know, like, in, like, people trying to groom kids, like, this is, like, a starting point of understanding how relationships form and work, which we don't do enough of to teach kids how to communicate effectively with others. Um, I'm, yeah. That, that's, that's basically what I wanted to say about that. Um, but yeah, watch the, watch some of those videos from Innuendo Studios, um, SGR 7th, like, there's some really good series, and they, he, he does start from a very much, he does talk about Gamergate a lot, and how that formed, and how it was all literally a lie, and end up being used by, uh, what's the, what's the creator of Breitbart's name? What's that fucker's name? Um, oh, he went to prison recently. But that guy admitted to basically using Gamer Gamergate to um, recruit um, lonely uh, incels into the alt right movement. Yeah, so uh, the pe same people who are trying to destroy Kevl's reputation are the same people that destroyed Anita Sarkeesian's reputation, um, and they're also um, involved with pushing uh, kids down the alt right pipeline. But yeah, like, no no shade against you, uh, Seventh, like, this isn't something that I expect everyone to know about, only, like, eternally, like, uh, what was the word for it? Um, hard to communicate effectively and teach linguistics when languages are simple and words mean what we agree with, I mean, this is a safe space for anyone who's owned to put it down. Well, I mean, words mean what we agree with, they mean, is, is how language works. But we un we need to understand how certain individuals uh, process information, and uh, teach empathy. But yeah, I get I I kind of get what you mean. Where you go? Where you, where 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 you you are with that? You know. Um. We don't share an idea. We can't agree on the meaning of the word. The teaching is thought uh, impossible. Um, well, I mean, that's, it's flawed logic because, um, you're forgetting about dialectics. You're talking, you're talking very, um, very linear. You got to think, um, not even circular. Um, you got to think of, um, meaning and understanding as something which is always interacting with each other, like a cloud of gas. The meaning of, uh, A-S-E-F-W-F-A-D. Um, I don't know, to me... It's a nonsense jumble of letters. What is it to you? Get 10 different answers. Tankies use the language of MLs, but not all MLs are tankies. I mean, yeah, I think there's also like a big difference. But yeah, tank tanky is basically used by people who dislike um, people on the left and don't really un want but it, it's a it's a calling someone a tank is a thought terminating cliche you know used in order to um avoid having to engage with an actual idea or argument that's what it is at the end of the day that's that's what we're looking at how much water do i have now 59 i'm not going to stop until i have ice between people who are involved in the real world in communist organizations and the kind of like Stalin profile picture people who are just like Stalin did nothing wrong, uh, the Holodomer was not real, or if it was real, then also Ukrainians. Did Wait a second. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is what I hate about libs. <laughs> this video is everything I hate about people who call people tankies. So she just did a thing there. I'm going to replay it. Okay. Who are involved in the real world in communist organizations and the kind of like Stalin profile picture people who are just like Stalin did nothing wrong. Uh, the Holodomer was not real or. Okay, so. 
none of that exists. Like, if you want to show me, um, show, like, I, I, receipts uh, for that, please. At the end of the day, thank you, H. Marble guy. Um, at the end of the day, um, this is a straw man argument again. Like, this is, this is people talking about a group of people that have no, um, influence, uh, or, like, reach. Um, she's talking about, like, I, the only time, and I've been in, like, communist groups and ML groups and all sorts, and I'm sure that um, the MLs in my audience right now will agree with me. Um, but, hey, if I'm not, if you don't agree with me, just point it out. I, I don't mind either way. Um, I, the only people who have said Stalin did nothing wrong are fucking memeing. It's fucking memes, bro. Like, they don't actually believe that shit, and if they do, that nobody takes that shit seriously. Um, at the end of the day, it's not a fucking huge, as huge a fucking problem as Nazis. Um, it's not as if they've got, like, any actual influence in the world, like, they're just fucking, like, they're either memeing or they're pathetic, and, uh, I've never seen someone actually be serious about that shit. I just see it from very fucking ironic posters. Um, on the second point, the Holodomor is a complicated thing. Nobody says the Holodomor didn't happen. They say that it was not... A genocide. Okay? Cool. Um, and I don't... I, 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 I'm of the second view. Um, yeah, exactly. So, like, let's worry about them and not, like, people who iron, iron, ironically post that Stalin did something, nothing wrong, okay? Um, at the end of the day... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Russia got to where it did with um, less deaths than capitalism got America to, and less uh, imperialism. So yeah, like whether it's good or bad, it's not worse than America is. Get some fucking perspective. Rose cla rose tinted glasses, indeed, Kefels. Um, yeah, the second thing is just fucking like makes me roll my eyes. Nobody fucking says that. Uh, and if they, if I'm wrong, fucking just post post me the proof. And then I'll take the L on that. But, like, we can have an argument over whether the Holodomor was a genocide or a incredibly fucking awfully, awfully executed transition between from agriculture to the Industrial Age. And I can, like, bring up some books and sources for that. Definitely want, would love to have a conversation about that. But if you're going to boil that conversation down to lol, you don't think the Holodomor is real, then, like, that's not a conversation. That's just you pulling a straw man from someone's arguments. I'm not an ML by any stretch of the imagination, but, like, it is not useful to distill the entire USSR to their really shitty agricultu ag agricultural practices. Also, bringing up how shit, um... <laughs> bringing up how shit Russia was... Uh, the USSR was, sorry, with the agriculture um, in comparison to Vietnam is pretty, like, ironic, considering Vietnam did a lot better with its agriculture. I mean, it hasn't really moved to, as far as I know, it hasn't been the rush to move towards um, industrialization that the USSR did uh, and was pressured into doing. Um, but, uh, yeah, they didn't, they haven't, like, done the, the Holodomor in their country, so, like, what, what's the point? You're just trying to, like, create, by her definition, tankies don't exist, is what I should probably dull that down to. Tankies aren't a real thing, because she's talking about just a straw man. She, she, she's actually proven my point, right? She's, she's actually just, she's just, she's, she's... She's describing what I would ironically say to say that there's no real tankies out there. Um, could be the US. Or if it was real, then also Ukrainians deserved it or some shit. Like, that's insane. Those people are fucked. And thankfully, that's most... What? Some shit. Let's not picture people who are just like, Stalin did nothing wrong, uh, the holodoc... Oh, okay, and then then you got the clown shoes left, like Caleb Morpin and that. But everyone, they're, they're not. They're, they're, those are brown. Those are red browns. They're, they're, those are the red brown alliances. They're, those guys are literal Nazbols. That's not MLs. So Nazbols apparently are. So tankies are Nazbols. Then. Bummer was not. 
you know, all Americans know about Russia's James Bond movies and hundreds of people dying of uh, polonium uh, bullets and aerosol spray uh, all over the world all the time. We don't hear much else about Russia beyond the entire hospital exclusivity for treating victims of their cars exploding for no apparent reason. The polonium thing is all about anyone who yeah, remembers, though. Not real, or if it was real, then also Ukrainians deserved it or some shit. Like... What? Oh, it was Ukrainian. I didn't realize it was Ukraine as well. I thought it was a different section. But yeah, you killed millions of Euro Ukrainians and um, Russia and uh, Russians as well. Some historians conclude that the famine was planned and exacerbated in order to eliminate a Russian-Ukrainian uh, independence movement, uh, which has been debunked. Oh my gosh, they've still got this up here. Um, yeah, David Eng Engerman. Basically, the sources that the sources uh, tanky is someone who kisses a communist ass, isn't it? Well, I mean, like there's a lot of ta there's a lot of tanky tankies that I used to see uh, used to pay me to be a communist, I guess. That's insane. Those people are fucked. Mm. And thankfully, that's mostly just- and, and those people don't exist outside of, like, the clan shoes left, but you don't- not seriously taking serious- You're not serious- you're not going to take Caleb Morvan seriously, are you? Or Infrared? These people are fucking, like, grifters. They're not- they don't believe in that shit. Why are you lumping people in that? It's an internet that? thing. But- from my own experiences in the Communist Party, people obviously did not believe that shit. They defended Stalin more than I was comfortable with, but it was not like this fucking edgelord teenager thing. A lot of ML parties around the world are supporting Russia, not Ukraine. Oh my God. Well, it wasn't a big reason you left because you couldn't support the Hong Kong protesters as a member of the party. Yes. Well, she did, so right now she's reading stuff out from the chat. I don't think that she actually researches any of it. So like take it with a grain of salt. Because um, when I ran in the 2019 federal election, I had to support the Chinese police because that was the official stance of the Communist Party. And I was incredibly fucking uncomfortable with that stance. And my, my choice was either to support the stance or leave the party that all of my friends were in. It was really gross. A uh, certain other big... So like all political parties, it, may, it, it sounds like being part, trying to change the system from within a broken, fucked up system is uh, not going to work in the long run, doesn't it? Political streamers unmoving their belief that the Hong Kong protests are just a fascist. I don't, I don't care. I do not. Like, regardless if it is or is not some sort of psyop, I am not going to support the fucking cops. Like, I'm not going to take the side of the police overtaking the side of working class people who are in the streets protesting because of poor living conditions and political resentment. So I guess just like capping it off with um, the Luna Oi stuff, I really dislike that she does this. It's obviously, I, I don't know if it's a grift. It does this, like, is she saying this is in like all the rest of the stuff? Or are you bringing up the stuff that you didn't actually bring up? She didn't bring up any, any times that Luna Oi had lied. Not once. Okay. Comes off like a grift. She hasn't brought up, she hasn't brought up one thing from Luna Oi. Not one post, nothing. What the fuck? To me. I thought this is going to be about Luna. I thought this is going to be about Luna Oi, not your hate for uh, your dislike of uh, people who are tackies or MLs or whatever. Or like you. At land she is a parasocial streamer. That is what people are interested in, though. And is free to farmers and capitalists can't own land. And then going on your Facebook account and saying that you're selling a big plot of land suitable. Hey, uh, I would, I would, hey, I would support a friend who also works as a cop, but, uh, 
I would not support their decision to be a cop. And, like, I would tell them that, like, if we're on the other side of the picket line, like, no holds bars, buddy. But yeah, um, I'm a capitalist, so actually I really only have rice farming rights, I can only sell those rice to other villagers for cooperative farming. This is to prevent over-accumulation of land for developing agricultural land for other uses. And uh, the source that um, that that uh, was used was, that was uh, 1050, just remember 1050. The source that was used was... This. Um, which is in... Which I, I cannot actually um, read this. Oh, hey. Yes, sir. Oh, fuck, my thing was on, on the front of it. Sorry. The screen. I'm so fucking... Uh, skeptical of uh, people like this. Like, people who post things like, haha, gotcha. Okay, according to Google Translate, which, you know, take with a grain of salt, this reads, uh... The owner needs money urgently, quick sale of land plot with two fronts, um, 1,084 meter square view of the beautiful green grass and golden river, suitable for investment, um, uh, gardening, camping, or homestay, there is, an, a, there is a discount for those who are willing to buy quickly. 400 min dong. Uh, I don't know where that came from. So, um, yeah. Da, 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 da. Is he selling land? He's selling land. Uh, wait.
Yeah, well, I mean, like, minimally, there always has to be some form of, uh, violence, but, uh, uh, where the fuck is this post? Where is this post that, um, they're all, they're all fucking, um, soy-facing over? Alright, where is it? This must be... M and Bay. M and Bay? No, oi. Maybe. Uh, this is I, I find it very important. It's important to me to actually find out find this information. So my apologies for taking so long, but like it's really hard to find at finding sun. Oh, is it sun? Nugan? Is this her selling a big plot of land? Is this her selling a big plot of land? Is this her selling a big plot of land? Wait. Nothing came out. But it was gone in 15 minutes, yeah. So, like, I can never actually hear the, um... I, I can't even, like, see the context. So, basically, the context here... Let me re-read re re that um, for the new people who have uh, popped in. Um, the Facebook post reads, The owner needs money urgently. Quick sale of land plot with two fronts. Uh, 1,084 meters square view of beautiful green glass, grass and golden river, suitable for investment, gardening, camping, or homestay. This area is a discount for those who are willing to buy quickly. Now, I can't find any more context about this. I don't know whether it's her land. I don't know whether it's someone else's land. I don't know whether she's trying to, like, help someone else. Like, I, I can't. I can't. This is just dishonest shit to me. This to me is this is just dishonest shit. It's fucking dis disappointing. Hashtag wife guy troubles September twenty six. September 26th. It's not just American culture. This is the West. And this is, like, life. This is not just American culture. This is worldwide. Unless, unless you teach people, like, this is how people act worldwide. Worldwide? World live. World, worldwide? Words. I'm good at them. At Punished Bay. <sighs> at... 
This guy's prolific. Twelve hours. Oh my gosh, this guy's prolific. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is still the same day. October 6th. Oh. We just checked that uh, date again, September 26th. This is the only way that I'm going to be able to find it. So I'm three days off. Retweeting. Oh, so close. So close. Hey, here we go. Fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. This isn't the original one either. Wait, what? It's not even the original one. So yeah, no, 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 nothing except for the original picture, unfortunately. This doesn't say anything about it. <sighs> Fucking hell.
Yeah, like it's not even her land either. Nope. Yeah, so based on a lie. Uh, yeah, based on this, ba based on, like, the translation, uh, doesn't support... What, it doesn't support any of this. That's just fucking scummy. That's just scummy. Fuck Obviously, I, I don't know if it's a grift. It comes off like a grift to me like stating that land is free to farmers and capitalists can't own land and then going on your Facebook account and saying that you're selling a big plot of land suitable for investment. And it's, if you're selling land suitable for investment, who the fuck is going to buy that? A far no, it's going to be, it's going to be a capitalist. It's just incredible. Yeah. 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 Who, who do you think uh, gets the money for that land? The land is owned publicly, so that so any profits like that um, go to the lease of that land, because it's selling a lease. That's how it works in Vietnam. Uh, that goes to the government, which is a government of the people. There's like five million members of the communist government. Like, it's a different, completely different system. So just saying that it's capitalist Please, is just fucking just dishonest. Jinx! That's just like a, such a shallow take. This didn't even do any fucking research into the thing she was talking about. All just anecdotes. I couldn't even find any information about that. Like, I wouldn't use that as a fucking source. Are these people off their fucking mind? Do you get, like, brain broken after you get a certain number of, like, subscribers or something? Does it, like, do something to your head? Is there, like, microwave waves being, like, shot out from, like, the YouTube, like, symbol thing that you get? Or, like, whatever Twitch's version of that is? Like, did... did oh my gosh, are my headphones making me stupid? Oh well, good luck with that. I've only got one brain cell anyway. Um, I need to go to the ladies' room, so don't go anywhere. We'll do. Either way, though, we'll be back after this short break.
And I'm back. Ooh, main break. Oh gosh. Hmm. Okay. I don't get it. Sorry. Hmm. Disappointing. Just disappointing. Okay. Whereas if the US had a culture that statement would carry, meaning. Well, yeah, of course the U.S. has culture. It's a culture of violence against minorities and imperialism. Wait. Who edited this? So I've thought Good. in depth about this issue, uh, this being the issue of homosexuality, rights, and discrimination. And I have a theory on the subject, and I call it Big Papa Fascist Magic Scepter Theory. Here's how the theory works. Pretend you have a magic scepter. And with this scepter, you can enact a spell that will turn all homosexuals into heterosexuals. Meaning that after some initial adjustment, there's never again another homosexual on planet Earth. If that were to happen, I can't think of a single social problem it would create. Meaning, if there were no homosexuals on planet Earth ever again, there would be no negative social side effects from that. To be clear, I'm not claiming that there would So if I made up a fantasy world in my head and that's all perfect and put it in a box into a rhetorical statement, then it means that what? What's the point? Be some negative social side effects and that the positive side effects would simply outweigh them. I'm saying there wouldn't be a single negative effect on society so What's the positive outfit outcome? There there we have it. There we have it. You, all you're doing is saying that homosexuality is bad because it's bad. We don't live in that world. Like, what? What? You're just being homophobic. That's it. It's just really? saying that the world would be better off without homosexuals. That's it. And, like, why would that be a net positive? Why is being homosexual... Be <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker thinks that the problem is that people are homosexual, not that people hate homosexual people. Just use the same logic on homo on homophobic people, and and it's the same. The positives outweigh the negatives. It's just like we don't live in that fucking magic world, buddy. You're just you're just living in fantasies. <laughs> Not a single oh. one. In fact, the societal impact would be one hundred percent positive. Which brings me to yeah. the LGBTQ acronym. So the response to that is oh, okay. So you're victim blaming. It's always bothering blaming me the that victims. the T is in there. I don't understand why. Homosexual. Because we were there from the start. LGBT. Trans people were there as well. And we were marginalized and we all worked together. It's called intersectionality. Look it up. Sexual behavior is same-sex activity. Many trans people don't fall into that category at all. So I don't really understand why they're included. It because the LGBT community isn't about same-sex attraction, it's about sex and gender discrimination. It's because your understanding of it is wrong. <clears throat> is, is that's it's always it. baffled me as to why you would include a group of people who don't fit the criteria of the group's core identity. It's a very odd concept to me. 
but I realize... But that's you applying a core identity to the group that the group doesn't necessarily um, subscribe to. That's your bigotry. ...by something important. If you use the same magic scepter and turn all trans people into cisgenders, guess what happens again? There's no negative societal impact, only p positive societal impacts. This is why... So this guy is for positive, like, okay, so you heard it here first. Big Papa Fascist is pro, um, gen, he's, he's pro, he's pro, uh, a gender affirming, uh, treatment. That's what that is. He, he literally just, just, just fucking did it. That's fucking hilarious. I, I think that the gay community included trans people. This debate tonight is a simple one, really. My well, opponent this is a will be completely one? unable to argue in the affirmative of being gay, meaning he can't make any actual arguments as to why you and society should choose the gay lifestyle. It's impossible to debate this issue in the affirmative. He'll instead use a logical... Well, it's not a gay lifestyle. Well... Of course, if you were talking about, if you considered uh, being gay to be a lifestyle choice, but like, you can't argue on that level because it's not. In every way, it's just not that way. You, no matter how much you wish you had a magic scepter to make it that way. ...fallacy, which is he's going to appeal to your emotion. His what? argument will be, and I'm paraphrasing here, homosexuals are suffering because society doesn't accept them and that is bad. So society should accept them and then they will stop suffering. As you saw from his opening, that pretty much summed it up. There are, of course, many logical issues with this appeal, which I will point out quickly, and he'll be unable to defend, except to use his second emotional appeal, which will be to paint me as a bigot. This appeal to your emotions will make no sense, but the goal is to make you associate being a good person with accepting homosexual sodomy. It's really a strange argument, but it seems to have worked pretty well for homosexuals. Be accepting or you are bad. You don't want to be bad, do you? If you aren't accepting, we won't accept you. This will be the framework for his entire argument in favor of homosexual sodomy, a behavior that is protected for reasons that make no sense. And I will also show you through the course of the debate why that is also true. That is the, wait, that's it? That's it. That's it. That's it. Four oh four bad study. Being fascist is kind of cringe. Not gonna lie, non-argument. Like, yeah, it's a non-argument. Like, all all you're doing is trying is laying a rhetorical trap. And all I need to do is tell you that. Well, that's a dumb argument. Can we move on to something interesting? That's fucking hilarious. Uh, who knows? Who fucking knows? What a fucking idiot. Oh my gosh, people are fucking weird. But like, I am I sad? What do you mean? Am I sad? Fuck! Don't know what happened there. Sorry, I think I pressed a button. What do you mean? Why do you think I'm sad? Oh, oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm tired. I, I'm just like so confused as to like why people believe the sorts of shit that these people spout. Really, um, I mean, I've been like really stressed and depressed right lately, but um, not at the moment. Not right now. Stressy and depressy me.
great. Yep, yeah. right, we got it. I'm getting all of the nice itemsy itemsies. But yeah, like, um, the, I, I'm just, I just like, those sort of arguments are so fucking beyond the pale. They, they don't make any sense. Yeah, if you made, like, your own fucking magic world, which conformed to your personal, like, beliefs about, like, how people should exist, like, yeah, of course shit would be favor your point of view but we don't live in that fake like world that doesn't exist is it's such a confusing argument because it doesn't make any sense it's doom tis doom <sighs> All right, what are we researching now? Targeting Jammer, Hullbridge. Yeah, I didn't want a Hullbridge, fuck that. All right, I got six more trades and then we move on to the next system. When a communist attends a Trump rally. Came across you with the, the trend, the trend hashtag MAGA communism. And Matt brought this up the other day, and I, I thought it was like a half joke. Hashtag MAGA. Oh, fuck! I can't, I can't actually uh, show this if that's who I think it is. Yeah, nah. That's, 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 uh, infrared, yeah? That's, um, fucking, um, what's his face? Yeah, he's banned on Twitter. Oh, Twitch. He's banned on Twitch. Unfortunately. Ah, uh, I don't know what the rules are about it. What are the rules around, like, that? You can't platform them. Can you watch their videos on, off of YouTube? You get banned for that. Ah! Uh, wish they were, like, more... Second, am I off by one? Am I off by one whole thing? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! No. Oh good, I'm not off by one whole thing. Fuck. That was a close one. I wish I knew, because then I'd definitely like look at it. Hmm. I think that's right. This one comes out to seven. Wait, hold up. No, that's nine. All right, so nine in the end. Oh. I'm just gonna build it out. Fuck it. Aha. Hmm. 
Ooh. Oh ho, epic meltdown down. According to text Guys, messages. That's what they're trading. Trade what? All those videos. We have to do something. We have to do it now. Who's that? But fun is laughing right back at these yeah. psychopathic and telling them that we know exactly who they are and exactly what they're doing and exactly what's going on in their souls and that we see right through their facade. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. I love how, like, what the Jeremy has just put in, like, a, uh... <laughs> just, just, just Elon Musk laughing at his meme. Oh, that's cute. It's been an interesting day as it seems like maybe the deal just it needs some help to get across the finish line as well. Uh, I'm sorry, the deal for Elon Musk to purchase Twitter. I assume he's going to get it all handled, but it's been pretty interesting as we've seen more and more little spicy nuggets of information coming out, including I like spicy nuggets. text messages. Uh, that do uh, confirm that he does confirm. plan to unban uh, Donald Trump and plan to unban, um, you know, other prominent conservatives. And there was some interesting video clips going around last night from various sources that say um, that was actually holding up the deal and it may actually still be holding up the deal uh, because people are panicking about it. I'm going to get into those clips and... A full story after a quick word from this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Meta. Ready for you today. Here's a couple of reasons for the workforce for that Meta company that will not bow. That's how Bannon Twitter gave Elon Musk two conditions that Trump and conservatives still remain off of Twitter and Twitter staff remains the same. Um, this seems extremely unlikely, to be honest with you. Uh, but this is the clip. Um, very close sources. That is because Twitter came back and said, hey, we'll actually knock a couple of billion dollars. Wait, Trump's Trump and conservatives from Caitlin Sinclair TV. Who's this? Oh, one American news network. Okay. So fake Off news. The price. Mm -hmm. If you commit to two things, number one, not let the Trump and the conservatives back on Twitter that we've already banned. Right. Number two, if you may, if you allow the management team to stay And my understanding is that Elon Musk was not prepared to do either one and said, no, the deal's a deal. If Elon no, Musk does ever deal. take over Twitter, I think it, it's interesting to, to point out now, we'll watch how quickly Twitter abandons uh, their whole movement. The whole private companies can do whatever they want. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure we'll... Now, it's Wait. a... Yeah. What? Why would a private entity buying a private company change the way that they work as a private entity? I'm so confused. What? That is true. It's funny to think about the... All the the lefties who are like, just build your own Twitter will suddenly uh, not like private yeah. companies doing whatever they, they want. Well, there so are what a is lot he talking about? What lefties doing? That this seems what? extraordinarily doubtful uh, it, that it was even ever proposed. To be honest with you, because first of all, yeah, Elon big major made doubt with that one. The initial offer of fifty four dollars and twenty cents per share, uh, of which Twitter accepted. Now, the only time that this possible, you know, this conversation was ever possible would have been in that exchange where Twitter came back and said, hey, we'll, we'll uh, take less money if you keep Trump off, which seems like an absurd ask. Um, and like, also, it first seems of all, fake. you knew that Elon would never accept that. And two, I I'm not even sure how you would spin that publicly, like, you know, Twitter gives gives Elon Musk two billion dollar discount just to keep Trump off the platform. I don't know. It seems like you would be opening yourself up to a massive lawsuit from Trump if that were the case. In yeah. terms of leaving 
existing management in in, so it's bullshit, in, then. in uh, intact. Uh, that is that is more plausible in a buyout or maybe to try and protect them. Um, that I believe. I'm not saying I know for a fact one way or another. It's just you know in, in modern day you know Silicon Valley. I guess it wouldn't surprise me that uh, you know they may ask for something like that. But it just seems so far fetched. Although TDS does in fact make a lot of people do a lot of stupid things but even even that it, it just doesn't add up pds so now this also continues oh uh, and Jack trump's derangement syndrome some of the initial a, a, a medical uh thing that doesn't exist a non-existent condition of the mind that uh does, doesn't doesn't actually exist oh but they love it Oh, do they love it? They fucking love it, don't they? Oh, they do. The leak tweets in breaking Amazing. text show that Elon Musk is planning to reverse all Twitter permanent bans. Who does that mean? Well, that means guys like yeah, that's Alex. that that doesn't sound that very like Donald Trump. Fucking that means likely had to happen. Most, um, divisive slash interesting yeah good luck good luck removing every like re reversing every fucking ban yeah good luck doing that um like uh, does he want the stocks to tank as he has to hire like millions of extra fucking workers to deal with that as the company fucking like nose dives into the fucking ground as like uh, most of the bans on twitter have happened for reasons. <laughs> Just because you're salty about Daddy Trump getting taken off doesn't mean that, like, they're going to reverse everything. What the fuck? Follows on the internet. See, there, there was a lot of people that were banned, mostly right-wing, that are no longer allowed on the platform and making it, like, much less Whoa, interesting. the whole thing exploded. You what know, the like, fuck? and every time someone kind of rises up, they get banned. They get smacked down. But there is certainly some people freaking out. If Musk lists Twitter ban on Trump, there will be a bigger problem to solve. Former President what? Getting, getting Trump back on Twitter after he said that he definitely won't? President Donald Trump could soon return to Twitter now that Elon Musk has agreed to move forward on his acquisition. Musk has said in the past that he doesn't agree with the lifetime ban of Trump, which Twitter enacted back in early 2021. It's a much bigger problem to solve. Uh, Rohit... Kulkarni, senior analyst at MCAM Partners, said about content moderation on Twitter, even Facebook and larger companies have not been able to solve it in a more convincing manner. He explained that if Musk wants to keep advertisers on the platform, he's going to have to install guardrails to protect brands from appearing alongside controversial content. There would need to be a mechanism for advertisers to be able to choose where their ads are being shown and in the way advertisers feel next to content they view as brand safe. I think this is certainly a good idea. That said, let's not pretend that there wouldn't be hundreds of millions of dollars in available advertising funds for people that want to specifically advertise on Donald Trump tweets. And that is not exclusive to Republicans. There would be all sorts of money spent on those tweets by corporate companies like, you know, these super PACs, people like Occupy Democrats. The idea that, you know, you need to make money on advertising on your platform is not unique to Twitter. It's on YouTube, it's on Facebook, it's on every major social media account. That said, when you remove a guy like Donald Trump and his, I don't know, 100 million followers, or however many millions of followers he had, I forget exactly, it's a massive number, and all the interactions that happen, you rem He didn't remove those followers, though. What? They, they, they removed Donald Trump because it messed with their bottom line. Do you think that it- do, do people really think that it had anything to do with, like, the political views of, like, Twitter as a company? Do people really think that? Are people really that fucking brain broken that they- they think that, um, that- Businesses run like, uh, like politicians. <laughs> that that businesses run like a fucking government. Like what? Move literally 
probably tens of millions of impressions a day when you ban that guy. And I'm so, I'm not talking him too. I'm talking a guy like Alex. I'm talking guys like Steve Bannon. I'm talking about a lot of these like really divisive figures or controversial figures. Banning them greatly reduces interactions, time spent on the app, and things of that nature that they've been trying to replace by forcing video content down our throats and a wide variety of other things that have all been failing. Now, I don't think that you can just let Trump back on and let him um, make all sorts of wild claims because you cannot get banned from the Google Play Store and the App Store. Now, this would create a unique piece of pressure though. Now, would you see suddenly the Apple Store or the um, you know Android Store come out and say, well, we're gonna remove you if you allow Donald Trump back on. That's something I could actually see happening uh, and almost spawn this crazy kind of, um, I think it would actually be good because it, we need to break up the monopoly that is gatekeeping uh, applications from mobile phones. You see three reasons Washington is freaking out right now about Elon Musk. First, a Trump return, good for the Democrats. I actually think it is too. With less than five weeks until the midterms, a Trump return could serve as a distraction for the GOP and a key messaging narrative for Democrats. The risk is that it helps Democrats succeed in framing this as an election about Donald Trump, which they would love to do. Even though he's not on the ballot, he's not anywhere near close to a ballot. Eric Wilson, managing partner of Startup Caucus, a Republican campaign technology investment fund, said in an interview, well, yeah, TDS is still alive and well, and the Democrats don't really TDS. have anything interesting to run on. Titty, titty, titty sex. That's what he's talking about, right? Titty sex. Other than maybe going back and saying like... Trump derangement yeah. syndrome. People like talking about Trump derangement syndrome or like... What did, what did, what did the Vorsch people like make up? They made up um, something called um, uh, Vorsch derangement syndrome. Basically, it's just a... Just, just, it's literal, literally just internet gaslighting. Trying to be, call people crazy um, for having legitimate issues with uh, particular politicians is fucking hilarious and also sad. Ah, fuck, fucking, fucking annoying. Oh, I need to have a uh, refugee area. <sighs> but I mean, remember him? Look at all these crazy things he's tweeting. That's his party. That's, you know, that's what you're looking for. That kind of thing. Misinformation and hate speech could poison the platform. Hate speech is not a real thing. I'm ignoring that. An exodus of politicians. Fine by me. First of all, you're not going to have any politicians leave Twitter. This is the Wait. same thing they said about conservatives when they banned Donald Trump. You're never going to, you know. Wait, you've, you, you've been blocked by Keffels? Why? Oh, wait. Did you follow Destiny? Are you follow? Wait, am I blocked by Keffels? Why would you be blocked by Keffels? Well, I'm not like blocked, but why are you blocked? That's so weird. Oh, big deal! A, a couple of Republicans left for for Parler. Now Parler was, I think they had, I believe some early numbers were in the millions of people that uh, left Twitter for Parler. But as soon as they did, Google and, yeah, and, and Apple made sure they nuked the app. Every try since then, whether it's been Getter or Truth Social or whatever, has been pretty weak sauce. I mean, Trump himself can bring a couple million people, but he's not going to pull his full following over to a new platform. So when these politicians say they're going to leave Twitter, I don't believe it. What, Democrats are going to leave Twitter and go to what? tribal and it's 13 users are they going to create uh uh you know a new platform by the way i hope they do and guess what i'll be there as well politicians absolutely are not going to leave the platform as they say there's always a possibility he's able to walk the tightrope and get it just right one other source of revenue for musk a major draw would attract more politicians to the platform and keep them there would be to lift the ban on political advertising that former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey put in place in October 2019. I will also tell you this. There would be absolutely no reason that Elon Musk would... Like, what cops is she hanging out with?
why is hanging out with like someone who's a cop a bad thing in 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 and of itself? I need context. Not do this, especially if he's talking about taking uh taking the company private. Of course, you're gonna take financial dollars from pol political. Why wouldn't you? The whole idea that like. Uh, that you wouldn't in the first place, it runs as an antithetical to running a profitable business. It's going to be interesting to see how all this shakes out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like on it. Yeah, pretty boring. But yeah, basically, so basically, like for those who don't know, um, uh, Elon Musk has uh, filed to... Uh, Offered to buy the company if uh, Twitter drops its lawsuit against him for, you know, trying to back out of it. Um, yeah, so that looks like it's going ahead. But, like, him owning Twitter doesn't make it so that anything changes. There's still Twitter's still, like, has a responsibility for um, to, to make money. So it's, like, weird to think that. They would, um, anyone thinks that anything's gonna fucking change, like, unless, like, Elon Musk does some dumbass shit that, uh, causes, um, like, major problems for advertisers, then, then something might change, but, like, yeah, I, I don't understand why people are so scared, like, okay, so one millionaire owns a company that was owned by millionaires before, like, fucking whatever? Come at me, bros. Oh, yeah, yeah, you want my giblets, right? You want my giblets. Come on. Come for my jibs. Come for my jibs. Ah. Sucker. Come on, nibble my jibs. Oh, great micro meteoroids. That's really what I wanted right now. Oh dear. Go get him. I wanted to have another, um, another crewmate. Pew, 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 transfer all of that shit. Expedite it. I also want to create... Ooh, Marxist poll. Uh, if you're a socialist, you kind of accept even the most basic criticism of their actions, especially in the sort of. Mm.
Oh, that's a screenshot. And I don't have any context from that. Uh... Oh, context. So who's Ellen from now on? I don't know these people. Okay, so they're, so they're supporting trans people. Ugh, I don't know enough about them. I understand why, I suppose. Yeah, let's mulch those bodies. I think I'm going to build, like, a prison area here. Refugee area, maybe. That sounds pretty cool. Like, uh, she just seems like a normal, like a normal lib, like, seems just libish. I just find it cringe that people who like, why I left the communist party just found, seems r relatively cringe, but I suppose she had her own, like, personal reasons for disliking, um, the Communist Party, which, you know, were valid reasons for disliking them. Don't get me wrong, I do see see those re the, her reasons as fucking valid as fuck, you know? But, um, at the end of the day, though... <sighs> yeah. There's a cop in North Ireland. So yeah, I don't know why, um, I, like, I understand why she'd platform them, though, because, like, he's a supportive of the LGBTQ, like, that's pretty, you know, consistent with Kerfels, so. You can get angry at that take, if you like, but, um... Just don't don't see it as a huge deal myself, really. Personally, I don't see. It. I don't. I just. I don't think it's such a big deal, in my opinion. But um, that's just me. You know, it's, it's just just where I stand, I suppose.
Well, I mean, like I have my values, but like I'm, I'm, I'm very aware of how rad, what, how radical my views are. Like, and like I understand that people don't have the same kinds of views. At the end of the day, you know, like. <laughs> That's why I don't consider it to be as much of a big deal. To me, personally. So. You, you, like, if you, if you, if, the, if, it, if that's like, uh, you know, bridge too far for y'all, it's just, it's just, it's... She talks about how she'd left these movements. That doesn't seem like she's like part of them anymore anyway. So yeah. Herb. Gerb. I need to put down another hull stabilizer. Figure out where I'm going to put it. This time, hull stabilizer. Just needs to be like there or further. Oh, that's alright then. Just put it here. Well, I'm going to put the oxygen thing over there. And I'll put the hull stabilizer here. Oh, what? Why can't I build it there? Fucking rude. Alright, well, I'm going to build it here then. Haha, <laughs> suckers! At least I can see where I can place this hull stabilizer. Like I can have it a little bit closer here. I'll figure it out. Why are they starting to do that again? Starting to hurt themselves. Stop hurting yourself. Put on a fucking space suit. Far out. You should be wearing, should be wearing space suits in space. If I don't do this, you'll all fucking kill yourselves. There we go! Alright, cool. I can put the whole stabilizer here then.
that one there. I'm going to change things up. This is going to change things up a little bit. So. Oh, okay, wait a second. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Let's 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 not get too hasty here. There's an I there's some more ideas. If I build this out by a bit. Aha Dismount. One, three, four, five. Four, four. Four, there we go. Quite nice and even to move my scanner over here. This needs to be halfway into here. Which I believe is an absolutely doable task. Let's have a look here. Yeah. Three, six, nine, twelve, one, six. Okay, that doesn't work. That's okay, we, we can figure this out.
four that I can have in a row. Four, Damn. Seems like I'm gonna have to not do what I want to do right now. Don't worry, I'll, I'll come up with something that looks cool and nice. The problem being is that I'm going to have an uneven number of hyperdrives. Oh well. Too bad, so sad. Now that's an interesting thing I didn't know I could do. Can we uh, fix that, please? Oh, okay. Guess not. You see that? That shouldn't be able to... I shouldn't be able to do what I'm about to do now. <sighs> That's so cool! Got ten more minutes.
And I could probably fit something else in there, but I don't know what. Health stabilizer would be good to move there and move this one one forward. Then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six to work with. Oh no, wait. That little point there is, is out of it. And then I've got like. Oh no, I've got three here. Three that I can work with. Huh. I wonder what that would work with. A three way. Three point. Oh, power capacity node. Uh. Our capacity node. Yeah, let's get there.
Oh yeah, now we looking fine. Wait a minute, that's not on the power grid. What? Oh, fucking hell. Can I... I move it there, is it gonna work? Cool, it's working. Alright. Goodness.
It's working really fucking good. Oh, I'm working on the X3. Yes. Well, it is 11 o'clock, so I'm going to leave it at that today. So, until tomorrow, or next week, I suppose, take care of yourself, take care of yourself, and take care of someone else. For now, bye, bye.